Hi, I'm Connie Ladenberg from the Pierce County Council. This year we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. We've come a long way in those 100 years where women didn't used to have a voice to now we have women in leadership. I want to recognize those women in our local community that are serving in leadership positions. And today, we are going to recognize and meet with Dr. Kimberly Keith. She's the executive director from the Hilltop Artists. This is, I think, one of the best hidden secrets, maybe not too hidden with some people, but it is a fabulous place for two reasons. It recognizes art and it recognizes kids. And today, we are going to be talking to Dr. Kimberly Keith, and she is the director here. So, Kimberly, welcome. Good to be here. So, tell me about your background, what you've been doing, what, how you got to be here today. Okay, well, here is Hilltop Artists, and here is the Jason Lee Middle School Hot Shop. And I'm actually a Tacoma native, and Jason Lee was my middle school. And so my taking over as director here, because this organization has been around for 25 years, uh, but it's very much me coming back to Tacoma and doing something that I love. I'm very much a Hilltop artist. <laughs> if this program had been around when I was a kid, I would have been in it for sure. And I think that's one of the reasons why kids do come into my office and they talk with me. What was going on in our community at the time this started and then why? Why did we start Hilltop Artist? Well, back in 1994, uh, there were a lot of problems in our community in terms of young people being involved with gangs and with drugs and not having a lot of things to do. And so Kathy Kaperic, who was a gallerist in town, and her friend Dale Chihuly, yes. they had an idea that they would start a, an arts experience for young people. And then that first summer, it really was Hilltop Artists in Residence. They uh -huh. brought uh -huh. really well-recognized artists to work with young people here. Year on year, the organization has become more professionalized. We've had more students. And so now, in 2019, we work with 650 kids a year wow. across six programs. And wow. we have um, two hot shops that we, we utilize for our programs. Our students do third Thursday demonstrations at the Museum of Glass. And so that's in the evening from five to eight. But yeah, every third Thursday. And it's really fun. It's free for kids and families. And that's so nice. you yeah. can really see uh, glass blowing up close and personal. You can ask questions. I mean, this glass art, it's, it's beautiful. We teach lots of technical skills. And this is wonderful. This is the core of what we do. Yes. But that working with students to get them to better futures, that is what takes precedence. And I'm, like I said, I'm very blessed to be doing this work. Okay, we end each interview with um, kind of our rapid fire questions. The four questions that I'm trying to ask um, all of our women leaders. So question number one, what is your uh, professional, your best or favorite professional accomplishment? Uh, professional accomplishment, I think uh, working on the Staying Power project and curating the Staying Power photographic exhibition with the Black Cultural Archives in the Victoria and Albert Museum over in London. And how about your personal accomplishment? Getting my PhD, because I tell you, it was killing me softly. What would you tell your 20-year-old self if you can go back in time to that age? One of the things I would tell myself is that um, you can be a recording engineer if that's really what you want to do. What kind of advice would you give a young person, you know, maybe someone in your program, a young woman who's interested in art? To keep trying until you find something that really sparks your passion and then move forward with that. That's excellent advice. Don't give up on yourself. Exactly. Right. Well, this has been fabulous. Um, as I said, when I started, this is like a, one of my favorite programs in Tacoma and Pierce County. So I'm honored to be able to interview you, to meet you, know more about you and this program. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and being part of this. Well, thank you. And you are so very welcome. Thank you for your support.